Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a little bit of an update on where we're at with the Twin Victoria and it's also going to be a little bit of a problem solving um, episode. I've got these cylinders to bore out. Now the cylinders I've done in the past have been sort of half this size and you can get away with putting them in the three jaw um, but this one by putting it in the three jaw or even the four jaw with packing in it's it's just got too much stick out as you can see I mean you can play with it you can get it as straight as you think you've got it and but I've got two of these to make so what I thought was I'd um, try and think a bit more laterally and make it a little bit safer as well. So we'll go to the desk and I'll show you what I've made. Okay, so what I've done is I've made a fixture that can be held in the four jaw and basically the cylinder will slide in there and I have got to machine some of this off here but it just lips on there nicely I then put this on and it's pulled down by four screws and then that will bring you up go in the four jaw chuck and as you can see it will happily sit in there it's gripped well on the jaws and it's repeatable so that's going to be <clears throat> excuse me um, hopefully better for boring it out uh, and safer Also, there's been um, some great comments on the flywheel, so I'll take you over to that. This is the progress on the flywheel. Uh, the grooves have been put in and painted, and she's running nice and smoothly. Um, just need to be painted. I'm just waiting for the weather to change a little bit uh, before I do the painting. But that's where we've ended up with the flywheel. And the sort of blowholes in here, the, the soft solder worked. Um, I can't see where they are. So that's worked. There's still one or two little pin holes, but uh, nothing I'm going to worry too much about. So, but thank you for all your comments on that. That was very much appreciated and a great learning curve. So, we'll now attempt to do the boring on the cylinders. 